We're joined live this morning by Congressman Nick Rahal. This is his home district. This is his home county. This is the headline on the Charleston Gazette this morning. Miners dead, missing in Raleigh explosion. It's Raleigh County. This is your home county. You've served this district for more than 20 years. 34 years. You've been, you've been through this before. How is it that this keeps happening? Well, it's... It, this was just unique in the horrendous explosion that occurred here. You know, we have passed mine safety laws after previous disasters, and that part worked here. It's just that this particular explosion, and the cause is yet to be determined, but uh, it just was so massive in nature that the miners could not get to the refuge chambers that was invoked after the last disaster. Uh, the mine rescue teams, as well trained as they were and as quick as the response was, still was not in enough time. Uh, and uh, the communication gear that was in you know, that these miners were wearing were knocked out because of the massive nature because of the Because it explosion. was just that severe? It was that severe. Uh, I understand they've started to drill the holes because they want to drill holes down there. That it was so toxic down there that they suspended uh, rescue operations. They're drilling holes. Do they, when do they think they'll be able to get enough oxygen in there to make it possible for rescue crews to re-enter the shaft? It's, it's a slow process because there has to be a proper ven venting of the methane uh, that caused the rescuers to come out in the first place. Uh, and uh, we're looking at at least a 12-hour uh, minimum process uh, to take into account the proper venting, and I would say we're looking at at least another 24-hour vigil here. You spent a lot of time with the families of yes, people who, who lost minors in this explosion yesterday. Is there a way to describe what they're going through? No, there's really not. It, there's so much hurt, so much grief. Our prayers truly go out to these families and those that are still waiting final closure on their loved ones. A couple families lost two and three members of the same family in this disaster. And your heart really pours out to them. Uh, these are tough individuals, but uh, even a tough find it hard to go through this. Congressman, we thank you for stopping by this morning. Do appreciate it. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.